The low freezing lows are a major concern for people without homes, often needing shelter on nights like this. A lack of resources is adding to that concern, with Wake County saying the need for warm places to sleep is surged. Akila Davis on this for us tonight. She joins us live. Akila, you had a chance to go inside of Wake County, one of Wake County's white flag shelters. You got a chance to see the need firsthand. Joel, you know, demand for warming shelters are at an all time high, and if you show up too late, you could risk getting turned away. We have uh, reached capacity the last couple of nights. When the sun goes down and bitterly cold temperatures creep in, white flag shelters like this one take on the need if they can. As sad as that is, yes, there are nights that, um, you know, we have to tell folks that we just do not have room. You're looking at sleeping quarters inside of Open Table, one of few white flag shelters in Wake County. And there's only enough room here for 50 people. It's a difficult situation that has some embarrassed. That's why we're sharing their stories. People who have temporary encampments, so they may have a tent, to people who are living in their car. A lot of the people living in their car are working class people. They have jobs. It's just not one that pays them enough to be able to afford current rent rates. I'm told inflation is to blame for the increased need. And because demand is so high, volunteers are needed to help run the shelters. They're seeing more children this year, too. If you slept outside and it was 30 degrees last night and you may not have had breakfast in the morning and now you're put in a classroom and asked to try to learn, your, your mind's not going to be in the right place. A warm welcome, bagged meal, cot, and safe space is what families who come here receive. The need in Wake County growing as staffers anticipate a long, cold winter. They say for some homeless veterans, coming here isn't an option. They will bed down in their tents. Um, they deal with, you know, unique barriers themselves with PTSD or other issues. And so sometimes housing within a, a large room with a whole bunch of other people is very stressful. And back out here live, doors open here at Open Table an hour ago, and they're almost at capacity. Organizers telling me this afternoon that they're hoping to open up a third shelter. We're live in Raleigh, Akila Davis, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.